Hello, welcome to this short video on using a plugin to use free Google Web Fonts in your WordPress blog. In an earlier video, we have seen the use of Google Web Fonts in standalone web page. But if you have a WordPress blog, you can do it easily with the help of a suitable plugin. There are in fact many plugins for the Google Fonts as you can see in this page. I am going to show WP Google Fonts in this video. This is the one I have installed in one of my websites. WP Google Fonts is a popular plugin. It has been downloaded nearly 324,000 times and it has received 57 5 star ratings out of 75 with an overall rating of 4.4 .4 out of 5. The author of the plugin updates it quite often as new fonts are included in Google's repository. The latest update was just yesterday, January 7th. Ok, let's proceed to install the plugin. Here in the WordPress dashboard of my blog, on the left under plugins, let me click add new and I come to the install plugins page. Next, let me search for the plugin WP Google Fonts. And here is the list of all plugins in the search result. At the top is this plugin WP Google Fonts. I already have this installed. For fresh installation, you would have seen the link Install Now. After clicking the link, you would need to activate the plugin and it will be ready for use. Again on the left, this time under Settings, let me click on Google Fonts. As I do that, the page Google Font Control Panel opens up. This is where you have to do all your font selections. There are six separate boxes where you can select the fonts you want. I have made two font selections. So let's see what are they. In the first selection, my choice is Ubuntu, which is only for the headline H1. And the font style is normal 400. As you can see, you can assign the selected font to more elements here. You can also mention custom CSS if you want, and also choose a character set from this list. Let me now show the second font. Here, as you can see, I have chosen Yanon Cafises for H3 tags. And I also have a custom CSS for the class Post Meta in the post body. I have not made any other selection. So, let's go and see how the fonts appear in my WordPress blog. This is the headline H1, which shows the Ubuntu font. And the other H3 headlines, like the sidebar heading, have the font Yanon Kafises. The rest of the fonts remain unchanged as per the default design. In this case, the post body has the font Georgia. Ok, that's all for this video. Hope you could follow the steps I have described. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more startup videos that you will find useful and helpful. Thanks for watching this video.